All right, so I figured it's about time that I do a walkthrough of the uh, milling machine. So this is the PM30 uh, MV from Precision Matthews. Uh, so I picked this up about four or five months ago. Um, that's when it finally came in at least. Um, and for those of you that don't know, uh, I am building a CNC milling machine or have built a CNC milling machine um, because I mainly do custom work on firearms, uh, mostly uh, for myself. Um, but that was the reason that I started getting into milling to begin with. Um, so this is uh, my controller for it. I use Linux CNC. Uh, the version I use for my touchscreen specifically is I think you say Mocha Pie, something like that. Um, but so it, it's worked great for me. Uh, I have no issues with it so far. Uh, the machine currently I have set up for um, uh, 110 inches per minute uh, travels. So uh, in all axes, it travels at 100 inches per minute. Um, and I sort of stole those numbers from the Tormach uh, 1100. So I, I tried to mimic that. It's about the same size. Uh, I, table. Uh, the spindle is a little bit slower, so I am limited to 3,000 RPM. Um, but uh, overall, I, I can say that I'm super happy with the mill so far. Uh, I did build the enclosure. Uh, I converted it with stepper motors on all three axes. Um, so the enclosure, I got a lot of inspiration from uh, Thread Express, the YouTube channel. Uh, the uh, enclosure itself is five feet wide or 60 inches. Uh, it has the sliding plexiglass doors on each side. Uh, and then additionally, if I needed to get in there for more access, uh, both doors do swing open uh, on both sides. So I have full 60 inches of uh, access into the mill. Um, so the spindle is controlled uh, from Linux CNC as well. I can't turn that on right now because I don't want to uh, destroy my Heimer. Uh, but additionally, I've put uh, air blast coolant. So I have two air blast nozzles here that I also mix with some uh, coolant when I am cutting aluminum. Uh, and I'll show that here. I can turn the air blast on. Um, so that works uh, and the computer does control that automatically. Sorry, there's the compressor kicking on. Um, so uh, basically with the spindle being controlled and all three axes, uh, as well as the coolant, I close the doors, I hit run, uh, and it works for me. So uh, it's not, you know, uh, a Haas VM3, doesn't have a thousand inch per minute travels uh, or rapids, but I don't really need that. I'm a, a hobbyist and I do this for fun. Um, so it's a good starting mill for me. Uh, the base of this enclosure, although all you can see is wood, that's just a, a cover and some drawers on it. Uh, this is a fully welded uh, steel frame that is under there, so the enclosure itself with the mill uh, probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,100 pounds, uh, all said and done. So for CAD and CAM, uh, I use Fusion 360, like most people. This is that uh, Glock 43 slide that I was just showing you over there, uh, CAD it up. So uh, that's the program I use, and it works great with Linux CNC. Um, <clears throat> so overall, I'll say that I am extremely happy with how the mill has gotten me so far and, and all the cutting I've done with it. I've had it running for about a uh, month now uh, and I have no complaints. So eventually I'll add limit switches to all uh, of the axes so I can, or axis so I can uh, home it without having to manually do that. Right now I just jog to the home position and, and home all the axes. Um, but I'll do that and then uh, additional way covers so the, uh, the ways on the Y axis on the, the front here uh, are exposed when uh, the mill is back. So I'm going to make some sort of cover for that uh, as well as the stepper motor so they're a little protected. But I love the enclosure. It does contain all the chips every time I cut. Uh, this does do a pretty good job at throwing really small chips with the air blast cooling on. Um, so I'm so happy that I went with the enclosure. I'll, I'll definitely uh, never do it again without having an enclosure. So. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I took a lot of inspiration from a lot of other people, so I'm not the expert, and a lot of these ideas were not mine to begin with, but uh, I did manage to do this as a, a hobbyist. I'm an engineer by trade, but certainly not a machinist, and, and certainly not good with electronics. So um, if you have questions, I can try to maybe help you what I walked through, um, but hope that helps. and. and I'll upload some cutting video here in the next uh, day or two. Uh, I have taken quite a bit of it so far, I've just been a bit under the weather, so I haven't gotten around to uploading it. But uh, thanks everybody for the help and hope this helps. All right.